you know, your your experiences in the really formative years at 91.5. And uh, for folks that don't know who you are, you were the program director that, that was here for CGM's first broadcast at 91.5. Maybe you can uh, give folks a quick explanation of what that experience was like. Uh, well, the build-up um, to FM uh, was years in the making. Uh, and, and Lou and Laura went on about uh, about the times with um, uh, Student Radio Windsor CSRW in the early days of CJAM, and we were really broadcasting to no one. But what we really were doing, we were practicing. Uh, in uh, 1981, 82, we really had a strong staff because we had approval for the license. And um, at the time, we got a staff together uh, after school started in 83. Uh, I was uh, hired uh, by default, by the way, because our program director quit to take a job in Toronto. His name was Richard Houghton. And Russ said, well, you got to take over. You're the next logical person to do this. I said, okay, yeah. So we sat down. We put the, we put the program together. Uh, we got the students in in uh, September. We got the staff together. And I said, okay, we're going to run with this, we're just going to go, you're practicing every day, just like you were on air. And originally the, the first day I wanted to do was Halloween, but it didn't work out, yeah. and we made it to November 13th. And I, I wanted to do a nod to someone who I was so hoping would be here today, his name's Patrick Petro. And we, we, we went round and round, that's a long time to volunteer. And we went round and round and we talked to staff things about what is the first song going to be and you know I had my ideas I knew I was going to be the first person on air but Pat came to me one day and he goes oh we've talked about this we've got the perfect song and uh, he goes it's, it's Ghost Town by the Specials and, uh, it's just so perfect, and, and, uh, and a nod should go out to Patrick. Um, uh, for real, it was really his idea, and everybody agreed with that. Um, so as we as we get closer, I'd like to get everybody up and, and gather around as we are community radio. Come on up to the stage here, everybody. Okay, come on up. Um, there's something I want to do, and then there's some. Come on up, everybody. Come on up here. Come on. What we're gonna do? I just get close to you and everyone. There's been some talk lately about about dead air and about what's gonna happen here uh, between the shutoff of 91.5 and the starting of 90 99.1, and then the big thing about dead air. And the thing about dead air, it's it's been a great tradition of dead air and CJ. Like okay, and I've just left my chair, gone out to the, dead air, gone out to the library, grabbed a record, okay, and then just brought out dead air is not a big deal. It's a big part of of, of the tradition of CJ, because you know what, it's not a big freaking deal. And and what I want to do now, and, and speaking about dead, is is do a quick nod uh, to the people who who have left us people who are, have been very special to CJM, and there's probably people you know or may have known over the years uh, that have passed away. Uh, there's three people that come to my mind very quickly. Uh, Hugh Edmonds was uh, part of the Communication Studies Department. He passed away uh, early this year. He was our mentor uh, when we went FM. He was a very important person. Uh, Stephen Bracewell was a, News. He was a very big, important part of CJM. Uh, he was our news director, he was a great volunteer and a great person, he passed away. And the other person that comes to mind, and it's very near to my heart, is Jerry Gaughan. He did Down in the Alley show for years and years, and he was a really a great part of CJAM. Uh, so what I'd like to do now, in, in tribute to those people, is, is just have a moment of silence before we start with the last song. And after a moment of silence, Let's raise the roof and then we'll start the song, okay? So join me in a moment of silence now. Please, thank you. <laughs> 